Daisy Ridley might be returning to Star Wars. In a brand new interview with Grazia, she said that she recently had breakfast with Kathleen Kennedy. Now, as you would imagine, this has sparked the interest of many Star Wars fans because it might suggest that she's in talks to return to a galaxy far, far away. Now, we're coming to the end of 2021, and it's been two years since the end of the Skywalker saga. Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, was the final installment of Disney's sequel trilogy, and in many ways, a lot of us assumed that would be the last time we'd see Daisy Ridley involved in a Star Wars project. This sentiment was only amplified when it was announced that for the most part, the future of Star Wars would be in the form of live action and animated series created exclusively for Disney+. Plus. Apart from three standalone movies over the next few years and Ryan Johnson's rumoured trilogy if that ever happens, we all assumed that the trilogy format of Star Wars had finally come to an end. But over the last few months, we've heard a lot of rumours and I think it was the Den of Nerds who first reported on it that Lucasfilm do in fact have plans to continue the sequel story through a live action series and maybe even another trilogy. If this is true, then episodes 10 11 and 12 could be on the horizon in the next decade. Or as I say, they might decide to put it into a live action series featuring Ray, Finn and Poe. In any case, my dear friends, we've been hearing more and more whisperings of a sequel continuation. Now, as with all things to do with the sequel trilogy, this is going to be very divisive in the fandom. Some fans are going to be cheering and say it's great news, while others are going to be shaking their heads and wondering why in the world Disney keeps trying to push the stories of these characters. But whichever way you want to look at it and whatever you thought of the sequel trilogy, let's take a look at this article from Grazia and see what Daisy really had to say. So what we're going to do is skip forward a little bit because not all of this article is Star Wars related. But when she was asked about Star Wars, this was the question. Your final Star Wars movie came out in 2019. Was it weird saying goodbye to the franchise you'd been a part of for such a long time? And in her own words, she says, my God, I was so sad. I spent a lot of time crying. I really felt like I was grieving something. They were my people for so many years. John Boyega and I met when we were both 21. We were so young. We started this thing together in our early 20s and now I'm 29. But we all keep in touch even though John is the busiest man in the world. And then she admits, I went for breakfast with Kathy Kennedy the other day, which was so nice. So even though it's a passing comment, there are so many possibilities here. Either she was just meeting up with an old friend because we know the two of them were close during the filming of the sequels, or Kathy Kennedy wanted to speak to her about a future project. To be completely honest, the second option sounds the most likely. Now, as you can see in the way Daisy words it, she passes it off as a meetup with Kennedy. But if we're being honest, and with all of the recent rumors, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney and Lucasfilm are starting their talks with sequel actors in preparation for a sequel comeback. Now, as I said, this could be in the form of a follow-up Disney Plus series or potentially a fourth trilogy. Now, as you guys know, the sequels are my least favorite trilogy and I'm not nearly as passionate about them as I am for the originals or the prequels, which is why I rarely talk about them on the channel and I rarely make sequel specific videos. I can only count about five in the entire catalog of my channel and I've uploaded 626 videos in total every Ever since I started my channel back in 2020. But besides my opinions on the sequels, with a good director, solid planning and a better story, I would definitely be willing to give future sequel stories a chance because there was a lot of wasted potential in episodes 7, 8 and 9, which they can definitely expand upon. The character of Finn in particular was given the short end of the stick and it's such a shame his force sensitivity was never explored, or even the plot set up in The Force Awakens of a defected stormtrooper who left the First Order. Unfortunately, they completely blew it. So while I'm way more excited for The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, Lando, Book of Boba, Kenobi, and so on, I would be very curious to see a follow-up sequel series. As I always say, I'll give everything a chance. But one thing I don't particularly want is for them to continue the Skywalker saga with episodes 10, 11, and 12. I think we should keep the Skywalker saga separate, and if Disney wants to create a new isolated trilogy, that's absolutely fine. But connecting it to the Skywalker saga is not the best idea in my opinion. And with regards to Daisy Ridley, I think she's a great actress. I really enjoyed her role in Chaos Walking. And when it comes to Star Wars, she was definitely let down by the writing. And it mostly comes down to how poorly planned episodes seven to nine were. And I hate to sound like a broken record because this is a conversation that's been going for two years now. So going forward and looking towards the future, if Disney are able to put some talented directors in charge of a future sequel series, 
I'd be down to see how they can develop those characters and take those stories in a brand new direction. I think as a fandom we have a bad taste in our mouths after the Skywalker saga ended and in many ways The Mandalorian has really salvaged how we perceive Star Wars so with all of this news of a sequel continuation or a sequel reboot if you will, I completely understand the scepticism that a lot of fans have. But we saw the potential in The Force Awakens, we saw what those characters could have become and I think it's very possible to salvage them and their stories going forward. With Rey in particular, I'm really curious to know what she did after episode 9. I was really disappointed by her arc in The Rise of Skywalker and mainly because I would have much preferred it if they didn't bring Palpatine back and they just had her be Rey Nobody as we saw in The Last Jedi. But going forward, they're probably going to have her start a new Jedi Order and I'd be really curious to see which villains are out there that she'd be up against. We've had speculation for a long time that Rogue Squadron is going to continue the story after The Rise of Skywalker. After all, Patty Jenkins did say she's going to explore a new era of Star Wars. But going back to Rey, I would have loved it if she turned to the dark side. I know this is something that Disney would never ever do and it's not really a popular opinion, but I think it's a better alternative to what we got. But who knows what her story going forward is going to be like. Maybe it's going to be a million times better or maybe not. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But what do you guys think? What do you make of this news? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you like to see Daisy reprise the role of Rey someday or do you want the story of the sequel trilogy to end at episode 9? I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts and as always if you enjoyed this video give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and why not consider becoming a patron. The link is down there in the description and you get exclusive access to videos that are not found here on YouTube. You also get access to my discord server and much more. And if this video wasn't to your taste go check out some of my other content. I do news updates every single day. The Book of Boba Fett, The Mandalorian, Kenobi, Ahsoka and much more. And I also want to take this opportunity to promote my second channel Meg's Cantina where I post my Star Wars music mixes. These include lo-fi, ambience and more and recently I posted my Halloween special so go check that out but otherwise my dear friends this is where we part ways for now. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. May the force be with you and as always I'm Star Wars Meg and I'm wishing you a phenomenal rest of the day no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.